Right now, most of the sprites in the game use vector graphics. Unity has a preview package that converts SVG files into meshes that use a vertex color shader so images can be displayed with infinite scalability. Ground pieces still use just a normal bitmap texture because they have this repeating pattern. So I need to figure out how to generate a mesh that will repeat like this. I can't really just have one square tile that repeats because there will be other shaped terrain pieces like circles. Also for just rectangular pieces if they're rotated the pattern should still be facing the same direction. So I'm gonna play around with the Vector Graphics API and see if I can generate some terrain pieces. All right, here's what I figured out. If we play, then a circle with this repeated pattern gets generated. If you look at the wireframe, you can see that it's 100% a mesh. There's no texture involved at all, it's all just triangles. Right now the only way to access and modify an SVG file is to actually parse it at runtime. So here's that file, the blue S with the red background. And I just parse it here, and then here the pattern gets repeated at different positions. And then a clipper is used, which will cut a piece out of the overall shape. I implemented this method of terrain generation in the game, and it is really slow. So just one circular piece of terrain like this takes two seconds to load. And that's for two reasons. One, each instance of this tile has to be retessellated, which means that the shape data from the SVG file gets converted into triangles that can be displayed as a mesh. So we're redoing a ton of work like that, and it's costing a lot of time. The second thing is the clipper. So like I showed before, the mesh is actually being generated to fill this circle shape which is pretty expensive. So I think I found a better solution. Here we have a sprite being masked by a circle and a rectangle. And if you look at the wireframe, it's not actually affecting the mesh at all. And that's because we're just using a shader. So all I did was take the unlit vector shader that Unity provides for their vector graphics and added in this use of a stencil buffer. And these shapes have another shader which write a value to the stencil buffer and then the sprites will only render their pixels if they read that value at that pixel. So now the terrain generation is just as fast as spawning in game objects. Now we're back here in the game with the moment of truth. Yep, and it's pretty much instant. 15 milliseconds. That's to load the entire level. Most of that is deserializing the level data file. So generating these uh, terrain pieces is pretty much instant. Generating terrain like this gives a lot of flexibility. No matter how you position or orient your shapes, the pattern will always line up. And then now, of course, we have the infinite scalability to stay consistent with the rest of our graphics.
I made a stone tile. It can be used for walls like this or to build up larger structures like castles. Finally, I created some hill-shaped pieces and added in a border. So I'm pretty happy with how this terrain system is working. It's pretty simple, but it's definitely enough for this game.